and it's all organic. <laughs> Means it's got dirt on it. He says that all the time. I like organic. So. Hey everyone, this is Martin and I'm Shelly. And we're here at uh, Sunday morning outdoor camp around and breakfast and we had to wait a little while because it was raining this morning, but now it's all kind of cleared out and not supposed to rain until this afternoon. So I think we're going to be able to get our breakfast in here. I'm so, going to get some eggs whipped up. So. Eggs whipped up. Oh, and you want to bring me a cup of coffee? Yeah, I'll do that. All right. All right. You're going to get with it. I am trying something new today. Oh, you know what I need, Shelly? I'm trying something new today. Um, I've got another steady cam going on over here, down over here, down over there, uh, to get close ups. I think it's going to work. We'll see. I mean, you'll know when you watch the video whether it worked or not. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. And uh, today, last week, if you remember, we had um, a bunch of our kids here. Our uh, younger daughter couldn't make it because of the flights got canceled because of weather and plane problems so they weren't able to make it uh, but we had all the other kids here and we gave them whatever they wanted for breakfast and we got enough stuff for omelets and no, none of them picked omelets so today we're doing omelets we're gonna use up that stuff and I've got a big chunk of hash browns there that's froze so we'll just have to kind of deal with that anyway I'm gonna go grab the vegetables and get them on and get them started. So uh, last week, if you watched the video, I might put a link to that one down below. You see we had uh, our kids and, and grandkids here. And uh, they, the two boys uh, have been around the area here for ever since they were born. And they're, almost five and almost three and or three and five or they're somewhere in there i guess they're three and almost five that's what it is and um our granddaughter just moved to the area she has uh she's two and a half and just got here so this last week has been the first time that she's ever been down here on the property and those are our three grandkids and you know, part of what inspired us to come down and build uh, a place down here in the woods is, you know, to learn self-sufficiency in a better way and to start practicing some of those uh, things. And, but a lot of it had to do with wanting to give our grandkids a place, kind of a playground out in the woods where, you know, we can spend time with them. They can learn what it's like to, uh, you know, be outdoors and play outdoors and, you know, just really kind of use up their energy and their uh, their enthusiasm for playing uh, outside. And so, so today, with, now that all three of them are here and we've kind of got caught up on some of our other projects, by the way, even though it's just peppers and onions, I've got some mushrooms I'm going to throw in here with it a little bit. Um, it really smells good. It, it's like outdoor camping and uh and i i really love it shelly does too she just doesn't admit it what i was <laughs> born likes, camping well this i'm not quite ready okay well I just put it in that bowl there maybe okay if you can you want this yet yeah no not you, quite but okay how many okay. eggs are in there uh there's four so i thought we could split it unless you want me to put two more let's in. put two more in okay we have got to do this. Okay, so this is a uh, two-person operation, I think. <laughs> and so my second person ran off and left me. <sighs> Those are some fresh tomatoes, by the way. So where was I? I don't remember where I was at. Um, anyway, so with the kids down here, and uh, summertime rolling in, we really weren't set up for this uh, earlier because winter and springtime and everybody being busy and all of that. But now that summertime is, is rolling in on us, 
Uh, our plan is to go ahead and build up a playground area down here for the kids so that they can be in there. Um, we'll probably fence off an area so that they can kind of stay contained because they're still pretty young and like to wander off whenever uh, you turn your back on them. So, uh, so we want to do that. But then also, um, we've got a golf cart here. And I think we're going to probably end up getting a, a four-wheeler at some point or a side-by-side -side ATV of some kind. And uh, build trails around on the place here that, uh, that the kids can go do some exploring. With a parent, of course. Or at least an adult. I don't know that I qualify for that. But, uh, but at least I can be the driver. I can get him into trouble. This is smelling good. Did I get my cup? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. You, you don't need milk. The, yeah, there's milk in there. Oh, here, give me that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you take that. Okay. Teamwork, that's what it is, teamwork. So how many of you have been following our Sunday morning breakfast? We started them late last year, and there are some people that just follow them uh, fanatically, and other people that just sort of come and go. So uh, put down in the comments down here if you've, uh, if you've been following along pretty close to a Sunday morning do-it-yourself getting it done outdoor breakfast. Now this is already smelling good. Remember seasoned salt, the seasoning of champions. Oh, come on. Get out of there. Okay, here's that. Those are probably far enough long I can turn that down. Yeah, like that. Okay, I think those are done enough to suit me too. I'm going to throw these sliced mushrooms in there. Do you have the butter out here? Yep. Okay. Oh. Uh, let's Looking good. Yeah, it smells good too. Does oh, it smell yeah. good? <laughs> it sure does. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to get a couple pieces of bread because I'm going to want my bread toasted in here. Oh. I'm going to have some jelly. You got like one, two, three, four, five, six different jellies. <laughs> I thought we better eat them up. You don't love jelly. Yeah. I'm going to butter them and just set them on the one side of the grill when you're ready for them. I better turn that one on. Okay, that one's on. I think you can put them up over there too. Over where? Right up in here. Okay. Right up here? Yeah, go ahead and put them right there. Okay. How many are you going to make? Uh, I only want one. How many do you want? One is fine. Okay. So we're going to take this over to the fire here in a little bit. And you, oh, go ahead. Do you want me to butter the other side too? Okay. Sorry guys, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay, so um, we're going to take this over by the fire in a little bit. And if you've noticed, I mean, we carry a kind of a summertime fire that's out over here. And our summertime fire is usually made up of stumps that we pulled out of the ground clearing the roadway down here last year. Um, and stumps that we pulled out of the way of where we were building the cabin and things that we've dug up and we still have enough stumps to burn to last us all summer this year. And uh, so that's what our fire is made up and then just fallen trashy kind of wood that's uh, fallen to the ground out here. So we're not really burning up our, all of our good firewood. 
You know, some people might look at that and say, they're burning all their good wood. It's like, no, no, it's, it's really all of our bad wood. Okay, this I'm going to set aside. All right, Shelly, I'm going to need you to be here with those plates. I don't know how long this is going to take to cook these things up, but I think it's going to go fast. Here to drink, and I'll come right back out. Oh, that was just coming along. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put down, get ready to do these omelets. That look. What kind of jelly would you like? Uh, I don't care. Probably that blackberry. Okay. That is looking good. It's a, uh, yeah, it's a good omelet. <laughs> Actually, it's a really good omelet. Oh, you know what? I forgot to get jalapeno peppers. It's been too long. I'm forgetting myself. There it looks like a good piece of toast. All right. This is Shelly's. How does it look? No, that's yours. Mine? Oh, yeah. that's good. Okay, here we go. Omelet number two. She thought we were going to split that omelet. Nope. This is just too good. Well, I may have made mine bigger. I really didn't plan on it. got a little bit of a subject today that again kind of popped up on the social media thing that we kind of follow after 
And it kind of has to do with the question of, you know, how do you, <laughs> let me paraphrase it in my terms. How do you hang on to the old way of life when you are trying to move into a new way of life? And uh, that, that came about from people asking the question, well, how do you, uh, how, how do you maintain, oh, I didn't put my cheese on there. Hang on, I'm gonna start this over again. People asking the question of, um, you know, how do you, you know, maintain your income and living without, if you, if you, you know, move away from where you can have a job and, and uh, you know, make money and all of that. What? You put this I on? I put a little, no, not on the eggs. Only on the hash browns. I may have sprinkled just a little on the eggs, but not much. And uh, sometimes, you know, when you're looking at kind of breaking away from a lifestyle, you, you have to really kind of learn to embrace the new one and that things aren't going to be the same. I'm going to turn this fire off because... And that's true with, uh, you know, uh, income, uh, insurance, the distance away from things. And, you know, I, I see people that are trying to, you know, get away from it all, but then stay connected to it all. And at the same time, and, and, and seeming to be kind of confused about how you do both, or how you do one without completely letting go of the other. And, you know, at some point you just have to kind of say, it's time to do it, I'm ready, and, you know, make that jump. Now, because I folded my omelet up and then unfolded it, put the cheese on it, and now I'm trying to fold it back up, I'm tearing this thing apart. But I think it'll come out okay. Yours looks bigger than, than mine. Well, if you need some. I got mine, blackberry I go. jelly, homemade grape jelly from Martin's cousin, Lily and Dave. Oh, yeah. Homemade well, peach jelly from Dave and Lily. They're the ones, by the way, that made those cinnamon pickles that were so yes. <laughs> really, really good. On Shelly's well, uh, Chicks in the Sticks page. Welch's grape. Yeah, we're going to use that up. But. I want the blackberry. There's raspberry and elderberry. And you want the blackberry? blackberry. I'll look. Okay, yours is over here. See you down at the fire. All right, I'll be right there. Anyway, that's just a thought. And, you know, if you're ready to start breaking away from, you know, your existing life, you know, try a new lifestyle, out in the woods, off grid, on a homestead or whatever, you just have to kind of remember that that you're leaving some quite a bit of it behind and uh if you're trying to figure out how to drag a lot of it with you then i think you're going to kind of struggle a little bit so you know find out what what's your dream you know define your dream oh, hot okay go into the fire okay all right here we are look at this mm -hmm. yeah that looks pretty good okay um you pray or you want me to pray? Go ahead, Martin. All right, Father, we thank you for this day, this beautiful day, and uh, the breakfast, and the opportunity to live out in the woods. We enjoy this so much. We thank you for the peace and quiet. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Oh, later today, I'm going to probably make another video on my garden up on the hill, which I call my mountain garden because it's not really a don't flat laugh kind of a garden. Don't laugh when you see it. <laughs> It's been, it's been, we've been so busy that I just put seeds in this halfway. We had a pile mountain. of topsoil sitting up there by where we're going to do the garden, thinking that we would get it out into the garden. And uh, we never did. So it's a mountain of topsoil is what it is. And he bought a bunch of seeds. So I decided to plant a bunch in there. I'm excited because I have now got little peas growing and I didn't even realize they were there. And it's all organic. <laughs> Means it's got dirt on it. He says that all the time. I like organic, so anyway, I'm gonna make a video and I'll show you and it'll be on my Chicks in the Sticks video. Mm. I'm really liking it. Yeah, it's hey, a good omelet. You know, I know Martin talked to you about um, our future here, 
and about the playground and, and everything. I want to even build a, did you talk about the little tree house? Okay, I'm wanting to build a little tree house for our grandkids and I want to surround it um, with the playground area and have a specific spot for that. That way all our grandkids toys and everything is in that area and it's a little bit easier on parents when they come down to visit and on grandpa and grandma. And we want to really get that done so we're going to start utilizing our time to do that as well. <laughs> Why did I think I was so hungry? I'm already starting to get full. I've only had about four bites. <laughs> yeah. It is delicious though. He. I do this all the time. He told me I had, you know, four eggs whipped up, which we could have had a two egg omelet, but he goes, nah, give me two more. So we had a three egg omelet. We might have to eat some of it later, this but it is very too. good. Yeah, this is lunch too, brunch. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, we're gonna keep this video a little short because because of the rain, we had rain yesterday, we had rain today. We weren't able to get out here till about 10 o'clock mm -hmm. Sunday morning, so for me to be able to get this video up and it still be Sunday, um, I'm gonna have to get in there and get busy. So we're gonna keep this one a little short. Yeah, and I do too know that building a fire from the rain, it was taking it us forever. A, a long time. So I've been trying to keep our fire going, but it's kind of dwindling, but it's, <laughs> it is what it is. But we'll, we always seem to have a campfire. All right, hey, Martin. Where'd my cup go? Here. So, we gotta do our... So, if you like the idea of moving out of the... You know what I figured out? That moving out into the woods, and if you kind of embrace that, it's like you're camping all the time. I, yeah. It's like your camping trip never ends. All right, so here's to having an excellent adventure. And may the stopping never start. <laughs> Hey, you guys have a blessed day today. Come back next week. We're going to do it again. You bet. Oh, don't forget to hit the, the subscribe button and the notification bell. See you next week. All right. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and a share. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell. See you next time.